You have a message. Wow, Guan, real Bam. How you doing? I know it's been a while. Again. I do not have the time and freedom to do these types of videos enough. Even now, I'm kind of like, mm, a little pressed for time. Um, and all that jazz, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I just wanted to address how proud I am for not being afraid to help my kids grow up. I know you're probably like, wait, what are you talking about? <clears throat> what I mean by that is most people, most black people or most poor people in general grow up with religion. A lot of us can relate to that. A lot of us can relate to growing up with religion and it being a not so good factor in our lives. Both of us, all of us can remember, um, or most of us can remember, religion not being a good part in their life. Therefore, I did not put it on my kids. However, I'm not afraid to admit the good part of religion. And some of you guys are still confused. Like, wait, isn't religion all good? No, it's not. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm not even going to debate with you on that. If you're going to come to me with negativity, I'm not even going to bother debating with that. It's not the point of this conversation. I grew up as a Christian. A lot of fear involved. A lot of paranoia. A lot of, you know, all that God's going to get you, God's going to get you type stuff. I didn't put that on my kids at all. I'm raising them to think for themselves. I let them know how I was raised. I explain in detail. My husband and I, we do this all the time. We explain to our kids the dangers of being in fear all the time. And I'm glad I'm not afraid to do that. I'm not afraid to tell my kids um, exactly how this whole God thing puts fear in you and how it does, how we all have religious trauma. We all have some form of religious trauma and we might not even know it. People who don't acknowledge it probably have not even realized that they even do have religious trauma or if there's even a thing, if there is such a thing as religious trauma. I'm sure most of us have been there. But as a parent, I am open enough with my kids to tell them, you know, when they're of age, as they get older, depending on their ages, I explain, they ask, I explain. So yeah, we didn't grow up raising our kids in Christianity or none of that shit. We didn't do any of that. And I'm glad, I'm proud that we can talk to them at their older ages. My oldest is now 13. Oh, um, and there's, my other son is 12. And then so on and so forth, they go down. But at their ages now, the older ones, I can explain some things. They can grasp it more as to why religion is not always a good thing. And like I said, I'm very glad that I'm open with that. I can be open with my kids. I can tell them everything. I can tell them what to do, what not to do. Because remember, they're homeschooled. They're not going to experience things the way I did. They're not going to have the hardships that I did in school and learn things the really hard way and all that. They're not going to do that. So my husband and I have to tell them at some point, we have to educate them, we have to show them videos, we have to show them things, tell them, okay, this is not what it, what it says, this is not what it looks like. And that's what we've been doing, we're not afraid to do that. We're not afraid to show them, you know, horror movies, based, again, based on their maturity. We're not afraid to even show them what the Bible's about, you know. We even read to them a little bit of the Bible, we told them Bible stories, you know, all that good stuff. It's like a mix, you gotta have a balance in life. You gotta have a balance between good and bad, you know? Which leads me to my next topic. I have a new song coming out real soon. On November 14th, I have a new song coming out called Essence of Good and Evil. You know, I didn't even expect this video to go to that topic, but I might as well throw it in there because we're talking about good and evil here, you know? You gotta have a balance. So yeah, like I said, I'm just happy that we're open with our kids. We can explain some things openly and I'm not afraid to tell my kids shit. Like, we're open. We are open, open. We tell them everything based on their ages, and based on their maturity levels, and what we know they can handle. That's what we talk to them about. And I'm very, very proud of that. I'll keep being proud of that, because some parents, they just don't tell their kids shit. They let their kids go to school, and they let them learn from the friends, learn this from this one, learn this from that one, and it just goes nowhere. And then the child's walking around confused because they have like 10 different opinions bombarding their head. And they don't know who to take. They don't know what to believe or anything. They might have, you know, 
three, four, five different friends from different religions and that's confusing them. Then they have three, four, five friends from different gender spectrums and sexualities and all that other crap and they don't even understand it because the parents too busy to explain it. I ain't gonna be one of those parents. And I will forever have pride on that. I am proud that my kids can come to me and my husband with stuff that they wanna ask about or stuff they wanna know and we can explain to them rather than going to school and some teacher or some principal or whoever trying to sneak behind them and put them a little shit in their ear. Like the whole, um, we all know this is going on where trans people are regretting their decisions because a bunch of adults told them, oh, if you think you're trans, you might be, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, just go ahead and do it. And just push the child into mutilating all their body parts and now they regret it. I will never go through that. <laughs> So yeah, again, I am proud that we are open with our kids. We show them both sides of the spectrum. You, know, you can't be just totally one side. You can't just be totally on the good side to where, oh, you gotta be good all the time. Oh yeah, 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 we're not perfect, but you know, <sighs> kind of stay over here or else. That's not how life works, you know? You have to be open. You gotta show them the good, the bad, and the ugly. We have to accept it all. Good and evil. That's the whole point of everything in this war. Everything is based on good and evil as we know it. Now we all know there's a swap going on where evil is good and good is evil. We already know that. If you're an adult, at least over age 30, I'm sure you've thought about that at some point. There's a huge swap where what's good is now evil and vice versa. You do good things, you don't get praised. You do evil things, you get good praise, all that. We, we already know. But again, we have, we're honest with our kids about that. If, if our kids talk to us about that, we tell them. We tell them this world's majority evil because everything that was once good has been flipped on its head and vice versa. And like I said, I'm very proud of that. I'm proud of my decision to homeschool. Even though it's rough, it's financially rough, but y'all, we're doing it. We're still fucking doing it. Doing it. So, ain't nothing to complain about on that note. I'm very happy. Um, again, we're not the best parents in the world at times. You know, we've made our mistakes and we tell them our mistakes. That's another thing you gotta do in your parenting. You have to admit your mistakes. Your child will never respect you until you admit your mistakes. Like, never. You have to admit your mistakes. Like, all the time. <laughs> it don't matter if you're the parent and you think you did nothing wrong. We always do stuff wrong. We're not, we're not perfect. But owning up to it makes your child respect you a hell of a lot more. I promise you. So, yeah. Um, I believe that's all I wanted to say. Can't think of any more points. But, yeah. And, again, my new single, my first single is coming out. Um, this, yeah, November 14th. It's coming out. Chaonix. Look for it. Uh, there will be links on my website whenever when it does come out and you will know it's called essence of good and evil I got artwork all over my Instagram page go support go buy it go pay attention because it's gonna be fire <laughs> so yeah I hope you understand the song if not you can leave comments or whatever let me know how you feel about it and blah 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 and yeah I even have a Twitter I have a music Twitter go follow that if you want more updates and yeah, I believe that's it. Be a good parent. Be open with your kids. Don't lie to your kids. They will find out. Do not lie to your kids. They always find out and they always end up worse. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yes, you. Yes, you in the orange shirt. I see you. I see you lying to your kid. Don't do it. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.